I wanted to show you a few other techniques that you can use when you're creating a sequence. I have a new blank sequence that I just created and in this example we're going to be working with some audio. The audio is going to dictate where we're going to want to place new video clips. So let's get started by inserting our audio. I'll open up my audio bin and I'm going to use this whale shark story clip. I'll go ahead and drag this into audio track 2. The reason I'm putting it in audio track 2 is because the video clips have some audio associated with them and automatically they'll come in on tracks V1 and A1. If I was to place the audio in A1 and then I drag in some sort of clip, you can see how my clip by default is going to overwrite the audio and that's because of the targeted tracks. So if this really was my intention, I could target audio too. And now if I take this clip and go ahead and do an overwrite, it will place the video and the audio on the appropriate tracks. But rather than having to mess around with that, I'm just gonna place my voiceover audio in audio track two. This is a matter of personal preference because it doesn't really matter in the order in which you place your audio. They will just all play simultaneously. In all honesty, I'm probably not going to use the audio from these clips because it's just background noise from being under the water, but I did want to point this out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is in the timeline, I'm going to play the audio track. I'll hit the space bar to initiate that. One of my favorite names for whale sharks is Marikatana. This is what they call whale sharks in Madagascar. It translates to many stars which I think is such a beautiful description of these amazing creatures. I'll hit the spacebar again, and this is where I want to set an out point. So I'm going to click O on my keyboard to set an out point. Now I'll go ahead and move my playback head to the beginning of the timeline by clicking my up arrow key, and I'm going to click I. I have now designated in and out points on the timeline. By doing this, it will allow me to control where this video clip gets inserted. Now I've already set an out point on my video clip. The duration of my video clip from the beginning of the clip to the out point is about seven seconds. The duration that I've defined with my in and out points is closer to 16 seconds. So let me show you what happens when we insert this video clip into our timeline. When I click insert, you can see that this fit clip window is gonna open. This is letting me know that the source is shorter than the destination. So I have a couple of options. I can change the clip speed, and this is using something called fit to fill, which will actually either compress the video down or stretch the video out. I can ignore the source out point, ignore the sequence in point, or ignore the sequence out point. I'm going to choose to use change clip speed, fit to fill. I'll click OK, and as you can see, my clip gets inserted. Now because I used insert, it went ahead and moved my audio track over. So let's do undo, and let's do the same thing, but let's use the overwrite feature. If we use overwrite and select the same choices and click OK, you can see that now the video clip is placed in the appropriate location. So if I rewind and play from the beginning, one of my favorite names for whale sharks is Marikatana. This is what they call whale sharks in Madagascar. It translates to many stars, which I think is such a beautiful description of these amazing creatures. As you can see, it slowed down the video clip so that it stretched to fit the defined in and out points. There is this little FX that appears on both the video and the audio tracks indicating that this has an effect applied to it. We have not worked with effects yet, but by performing this particular edit, Premiere is gonna automatically add an effect. I'll go ahead and I'll go to the next section of my track and let's play our audio. All around the world, there are many stories of whale sharks. They possess unique cultural values in many countries. In Borneo, Whale sharks are often sighted near fishing boats. They are believed to be sacred animals, and the locals are forbidden from capturing the sharks. 
I'll go ahead and set an out point here by clicking O. Then I'm going to move the playback head by pressing the up arrow key to the end of the first clip. Now what we'll do is we'll go into the source monitor and let's load one of these other clips. We'll use this clip right here, which is a clip of the entire body of the whale shark, including a lot of tail shots. I do want to make sure that the tail shot is something that shows up, but we'll go ahead and we'll set an out point right about here. So I'm going to set an out point in the source monitor by clicking O. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this into my timeline. So once again, at this point, I'm going to want to use the overwrite feature. Now, because I don't have an endpoint in either area, if I go ahead and click overwrite, it's going to place the clip into the timeline, matching the out point of the original clip with the out point that's been specified in our timeline. Because the clip that I chose to use is not quite long enough to fit within this section, you'll see that we are going to get a gap. Notice that Premiere did not offer me the option to scale the clip or add the effect that will allow the clip to fit. Let's click undo. And if we go ahead and set an endpoint in our timeline by clicking I, now we've designated an in and an out point. Now if I do the same sort of procedure by clicking overwrite, it'll open up the fit clip dialog box and we can choose to change the speed as we did on the previous video clip. Now the video has been placed in here and it's going to be slightly slowed down since it's stretching the clip to fit within the section that we've designated. Sometimes this will be a choice that you'll want to make, but you do need to be careful about using this effect since it does slow down the action in your clip. If your clip includes someone talking and you see their mouth and the audio is going to be more verbal, it definitely won't sound or look the way it should. But for our clips, it works just fine. Now, if I play a small segment of this clip, cultural values in many countries, in Borneo, you can hear that it's a little difficult to hear the audio, and that's because the clips also have audio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply delete the audio. Now, currently, if I try to select the audio, both the video and the audio are going to become selected and that's because the audio and video are linked by default. In order to be able to eliminate the audio, I'm going to need to right click on the clip and I'm going to choose unlink. This will allow me to just be able to click the video or the audio independently. At this point, I can select the audio and delete it. I'll do the same thing on the first clip and then we'll eliminate our audio. Now I'll continue to play my voice over so I can determine where I want to place the next clip. There's a story of a whale shark that rescues someone who nearly drowned in the middle of the sea. Let's have this next clip come in after the word sea. I'll place my out point here, and this time I'm not going to set an in point. I'll come up to my source monitor, and let's find another clip that we want to incorporate. I'm going to set an in point right here, and we already have an out point. I'm going to come to the out point and I'm just going to clear the out point. Rather than trying to figure out what this time segment is, I'm just going to set my in point. At this point, I can choose to drag the video in only. So if we go ahead and choose the video and drag this in, you'll see that it's only going to place our video into the timeline. Now, because I didn't specify an out point, the out point is just going to be the end of the clip. If I don't want the rest of this clip to display, I can simply put my mouse at the end of the clip and trim the end of the clip to the existing out point. So if we play this section of our sequence, it sounds like this. There's a story of a whale shark that rescues someone who nearly drowned in the middle of the sea. Now this clip is larger than our sequence settings, so it's gonna be really scaled up. And we talked about this before. I'll right click on this clip and I'm going to choose scale to frame size. This will allow the clip to fully fit within the frame size. Now when we play the clip, it will look the way we intended it to look. There's a story of a whale shark that rescues someone who nearly drowned in the middle of the sea. On the island of Java, 
people believe that the whale shark is the ancestor of every fish in the ocean. They call it ancestor shark. There, whale sharks are revered as protectors of the sea. Let's set an out point here, and I'm going to use my up arrow to go to the previous edit. I'll set an in point, and now let's grab another clip. Now this particular clip that I want to use already has in and out points set. I would like to eliminate these in and out points and reset them. So I'm simply going to right click and choose clear in and out. This will give me a fresh state at which to start. I'm going to determine where I want to initiate my clip. So I'll navigate to where I want the in point to be. And then if we scrub through the timeline just to make sure this is exactly what we want to display, that looks fine. I'm going to once again use my overwrite. Now because I want to use overwrite, we know that both the audio and video are going to be brought in. If I don't want that to happen, I can unlink the audio by deselecting the A1 track. Notice I have no audio track selected. If I go back up into the source window and use overwrite, it's simply going to place the video in there without including the audio. Let's come to this clip and let's right click and use our scale to frame size. Now if we play this section of the project, it looks something like this. The story of a whale shark that rescues someone who nearly drowned in the middle of the sea. On the island of Java, people believe that the whale shark is the ancestor of every fish in the ocean. They call it ancestor shark. There, whale sharks are revered as protectors of the sea. Anyone who encounters a whale shark are encouraged to offer gifts to the animal. Now that I'm listening to this, I would like to change the out point of the clip that we just brought in to the end of this audio. I'm simply going to place my mouse at the end, and because I have plenty of handle left over, I'll just click, hold, and drag. This will extend the out point of this clip to appear farther out in the original source clip that we included. Now you should have some more information about how you can add clips into your timeline, performing overwrites, and controlling exactly where the clips are going to be placed in the timeline. Sometimes, rather than setting the in and out points in the source window, you'll want your in and out points to coordinate with specified things that are happening within your project. You can accomplish this by setting the in and out points in the timeline, and then use the overwrite to add those elements into the timeline. We also talked about how we could unlink audio and video and how we could prevent audio from coming in by simply unchecking the audio patch control. This will ensure that the audio is not going to be placed into the track. Premiere offers you many options so that you can ensure the sequence is built exactly the way you want.